If you can't weigh yourself right now or just don't want to, there's a couple of different ways you can keep track of your progress, and I would argue they're actually better than taking your weight. I'm going to teach you about that coming up. Welcome to For Faith Fitness, the number one YouTube channel to help you fight obesity. If you're in the middle of that fight, consider sticking around and subscribing because that's all I talk about, and I promise, with the right education, you're going to win. Okay, so the first tip is pretty obvious. The second is kind of an under the radar awesome way of keeping track of your progress. But the first tip is going to be to use a tape measure. Keep track of your measurements, mainly around the navel, which is the belly button. So you take a tape measure straight across the belly button and wrap it around you as if you're wearing pants or something. And that is an awesome way of keeping track of your progress because it fluctuates a lot less. Um, it isn't as scary whenever you step on the scale and you see that a random spike, it's not going to spike whenever it is just a water weight fluctuation. It's not going to spike that much, at least not like your weight. I left a really good tape measure. It's cheap and you don't need one that's fancy, but you do need one that's loose and it, I think they're for material. Um, so I left that in the description uh, so you can get it off of Amazon. But there is a big key to this point. And that is that I would like you, if I could pick, to take daily measurements and average out your measurement for accuracy for the week. So every day you take it, it's hardly going to move at all. But some days you're going to be a little more bloated than others. And if you take that average measurement, you're going to get a really accurate measurement of what your waist looks like that week. Do that over the course of many weeks and you're going to see a pattern of weight loss and you are going to succeed. Hey guys, if you're getting value, could you hit the like button? Now back to the video. All right, this is a super underappreciated, forgotten about way of keeping track of your progress. And it is so simple. And that is to get an article of clothing that is fixed, that means not stretchy or something like that, that you can keep track of how well you fit in it. Something that is barely too small, preferably a shirt. Um, and even if it is like spandex and it's stretchy, that's okay. What I mean by stretchy is you don't want like an elastic waistband. That's almost impossible to tell, am I fitting in these better? Because no matter what, they're going to shrink with your waist. But you want something fixed, like snap-on shorts, a belt is a really good example. Which hole of the belt can you reach? An old t-shirt, and you're going to feel the difference. And I recommend a t-shirt because whenever you put it on, you, f you literally feel that it's not hugging you as tight. You feel that your chest isn't pressing up against the side of the t-shirt. You feel that your love handles are no longer love handles, or at least they're approaching not being love handles. It is an awesome way of keeping track of your progress because you feel it. And whenever you feel it, it emotionally sets in. And I'm telling you, this is an emotional game. Your fight against obesity is emotional. I know how bad it hurts. I've been there. That's why I coach on this. That's all I talk about. Look at all of my videos. I don't talk about anything else. It is weight loss and obesity because it hurts, but it feels amazing and it emotionally plugs us into the journey whenever you start putting on a shirt that starts fitting better. I'm telling you guys, this is a way of winning. I talked a little bit about water weight. So if you would like to know more about water weight, if what you're losing is water weight or actual body fat, watch my next video here. It's my most popular video and I think you're going to like it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.